Hi there, how are you going? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome, hello to all my subscribers, non subscribers, trolls, bots, lurkers alike, and just hello if you stumbled upon this. Uh, this is about mercury vapor turbine. A mercury vapor type turbine is a form of a heat engine that uses mercury as a working fluid of its thermal cycle. A mercury vapor turbine has been used in conjunction with steam turbine for generating electricity. This example of combined cycle generation was not widely adopted because of the high uh, capital costs and the obnoxious toxic hazard of the mercury leaked into the environment. The mercury cycle offers an efficiency increase compared to steam only cycle because energy can be injected into the rakhine cycle at a higher temperature. Metallurgical developments have allowed steam-only plants to increase in efficiency over time, making the vapor mercury vapour turbine obsolete. Modern combined cycle power plant generation generating stations operate at 61% efficiency and with none of safety issues inherent to a binding mercury Rankine cycle steam power plant. Historical example, so it's a diagram of a mercury vapour turbine system at Schiller Station, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. 300,000 pounds of liquid mercury is vaporized by heat from the two boiler furnaces and the vapor enters the mercury drums at a temperature of 962 degrees Fahrenheit and a pressure of 128 pounds per square inch. In spite of great weight of the mercury, the liquid state it only occupies a volume about equal to a small bathroom. The mercury vapor drives two 7,500 kilowatt turbine generators. After Passing through the turbines, the mercury vapour enters the condenser boilers where it becomes liquid again, giving up its latent heat to generate steam at a temperature of 496 degrees Fahrenheit and a pressure of 643 pounds per square inch. Liquid mercury is pumped back to the two mercury boilers. Uh, e is steam from the two condenser boilers is passed through superheated tubes located at the top of the mercury boilers. This raises steam temperature from 496 to 825 Fahrenheit. The superheated steam drives one 25,000 kilowatt turbine generator. The steam turbine exhausts into a surface condenser where river water takes up heat from the steam which condenses into liquid at a temperature of 79 degrees Fahrenheit and a pressure of approximately half a pound per square inch uh, absolute a vacuum. The steam condenser condenser in the, is pumped back into the condenser boiler. So there you go. The electrical book 1937 contained the following description of mercury vapor turbine operating in commercial use. The advantage of operating a mercury vapor turbine in conjunction with steam power plant lies in the fact that complete cycle can be worked over or very wide range of temperature without employing an, any abnormal pressure. The exhaust from the mercury turbine is used to raise steam for the steam turbine. The Hartford Electric Light Co. USA has a 10,000 kilowatt turbine generator driven by mercury vapour, which reaches the turbine at 70 pounds per square inch gauge at 888 degrees, 880 degrees Fahrenheit. The mercury vapour is condensed at 445 degrees Fahrenheit and raises 129,000 pounds steam per hour at 280 LB per square inch pressure. The latter is superheat, superheated to 735 and passes to steam turbines. During four months continuous operation, this plant averaged about 0 0.715 pounds of coal per kilowatt hour of net output and about 43% output being from the mercury turbine generator and 57 from the steam plant. On maintained full load the heat output averages 9,800 BTU per net kilowatt hour 34.8 percent efficiency. It is believed that the maintenance cost would be lower than an, an ordinary steam plant. The back pressure of a mercury turbine is fixed by the steam boiler pressure. Only a small vacuum pump is needed as there is no air or other gas in the mercury system. Power plants designed by William L. William Lee Roy Emmett were constructed by General Electric and operated between 1923 and 1950. Large plants included Hartford, Connecticut, 1.8 milliwatt starting in 1922, operated in stages 15 
M W in 1949. Koenig Generating Station, New Jersey, 20 M W Mercury Turbine, 30 M W Steam. Started in 1933. I can't say that name. It's in New York, and then Portsmouth, New Hampshire, 40 M W 1950. So. This is, uh, I think, similar to the engine.